Hey you guys, going to Trey, today I'm going to my Junior Cross video. Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to beat the Organization 13 event that is going on right now for the 5th anniversary of uh, JP. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys my setup right here. I had to use 3 setups for this because, um, well each boss, the different attributes, and because they also either ignore or absorb certain attributes and it's kind of a... Uh, hard to uh you know beat it with just one keyblade so <laughs> i had to use a multi like multiple of them so uh, i have a whole bunch of different different setups um i go through all of them but uh yeah anyways i use my treasure uh, treasure trove i'm gonna try using the treasure trove lady luck and three wishes more often in um these tips and tricks videos because they are level 35 um everybody has this keyblade like these keyblades so it's a little more free to play friendly, so I'm gonna try using these more often. But uh, for the last part of this event, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, do that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it was difficult. Um, but yeah, for the three treasure, uh, for the treasure trove keyblade, I use my Kyrie. Um, she has check second chance four, um, extra attack. So yeah, she's here for the buffing and uh, stuff like that. Um, a lingering will. Uh, he's a copy metal. He copies my next metal. He also gives me plus one thousand uh, metal strength when I copy the metal. Um, so he has attack plus level max, gate zero, and perfect traits except a pet slot. So that's that. Next up is my Final Fantasy VII Record Keeper. Oh wait, <laughs> remake cloud, not Record Keeper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, attack was twelve max, gauge one. He increases my power amount of strength by 3,000 for 2 turns. And... Oh, well, he, he's close in traits. <laughs> he has aerial, extra attack, and ground. And that's about it. So I'm, I'm kind of rushing through this because there's a lot of setups I have to get through. So yeah, for the video, I don't want, like, I don't want the video to, uh, to be too long because... Uh, it is like 12 stages. <laughs> yeah, um, next up is my Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, Supernova Renewal Terra. So he um, is awakened or, or evolved. So he now gives me plus five thousand uh, power metal strength. He has attack plus level max. Um, almost perfect traits. He doesn't have extra attack, which is fine because he doesn't ignore enemies' counters, I believe. So yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword if you have a uh, you know um, a uh, extra attack on this metal. So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking at my uh, audio and seeing that uh, <laughs> I'm kind of talking away from the mic, so it it's probably gonna sound a little bit weird in the beginning. So I'm gonna try to stay in front of my mic. <laughs> the thing is, I can't see my. F well, actually, I, I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, like, cause this mic is blocking my phone, so I can't really see. I have to like look like this. So yeah, um, next up is my uh, Sephiroth. So my Sephiroth, he has, um. Attack boost, level max, gauge 1. Um, he gives me 3,000 power, metal strength with 2 turns. A, his extra attack is an uh, extra attack. He, he has perfect traits, except for pet slot. Uh, uh, Supernova gives me plus 6,000 power, metal strength for 2 turns. Same with the, uh, well, similar to the cloud. Oh, actually, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, next up is my Game Master 3 Luxord. He yeah, attack was 10 max gauge 2. Perfect traits. Um, he's really here just to copy my metal. So he's copying my Sephiroth for the damage as well as the increasing the metal strength. Um, but yeah, that's kind of about it for this setup. Uh, this is for all the, like, the speed enemies um, in the event. Next up is my Lady Luck. Um, I use Kyrie um, for second chance. The same Kyrie. Uh, it also has extra attack. I have my King Master 3 Lee right here, attack boost, uh, 11 max, he gives me plus 2,500 speed strength, um, yeah, for 2 turns, and he has perfect traits, the put slot, um, he also gives me plus, what, 5,000 speed metal strength for 2 turns, so, yeah, you guys are kind of seeing a pattern <laughs> in these setups, um, the next one is my King Master 3 Ventus, um, he gives me plus 5,000 speed metal strength. Uh, attack was level 12. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot. Attack was 12 max. Uh, 
Let's see, he has uh, 2,000 strength and ground and air, and 500, uh, you know, strength for the pet, the pet trait. He also gives me plus 7,000 speed strength. Um, also, all these medals have uh, the guilt bonus up. This one has like plus 320% up. So, <laughs> yeah, for the most part, medals nowadays they all have guilt bonus up. So, yeah. Um, next up is. My camera has three uh, illustrated Ventus. Um, so he has. Let's see. Well, he has mastery, so that means he does a lot more damage when it's super, when it's super effective. Like basically, if uh, I'm fighting against a magic enemy, he'll do more damage uh, since he's like a mastery. Um, so he gives me plus what? The ten thousand plus ten thousand speed amount of strength uh, for one turn. He also has a, a attack boost 13 max, gauge 0. Um, he has ground, air, and strength. So, he's really good metal. <laughs> Definitely, like, I'm trying to use the most recent metals in this. So, yeah, you, you guys will see that I'm using uh, both of these Ventuses. Um, next up is my Lux Sword. Same Lux Sword as before. Attack boost 10 max, gauge 2. And perfect traits. He's really here to copy my uh, Ventus to give me more buffs as well as do a lot more damage. Um, so yeah, and then I have my Lingering Will, same one as before. <laughs> Strength plus 1000, attack plus 11, 11 max, um, and almost perfect trace. <laughs> so yeah, also that metal also gives me uh, plus 4000 metal strength as well for the Supernova, so yeah, it's gonna be really useful too. Um, if I had to show you guys my uh, sub slots, so my treasure, tr my treasure trove is 6.3. Um, and my Lady Luck is about the same thing, 6.3, yeah. And three wishes, um, uh, this is for the power enemies. Um, I use my Kyrie, same one, <laughs> I'm not gonna show you guys Kyrie again. Um, let's see, I have my Aqua right here, the illustrated version. She gives me plus 10,000 magic metal strength, I think. Um, she also adds attack boost 13 max, gauge 1. Um, perfect traits, so I kind of... Perfect to my aqua right here, <laughs> off camera. So, yeah, she has no um, pet trade unfortunately, but uh, her supernova gives me plus twelve thousand magic metal strength. And my Zayonor right here, he has no skill. <laughs> I don't really want to waste waste the skill on him because I know I'm not gonna really gonna use him too much. Well, uh, maybe I should, <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't really need the skill for this event. Um, so he has. He gives me plus 8,000 magic metal strength. And he only had ground and air. <laughs> That's kind of about it. Um, he kind of... I basically had some extra traits from the Moogle shots. So I'm like, I'm just gonna throw her on this metal. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and he also gives me plus 12,000 magic metal strength. I have my Kingdom 3 Aqua right here. She gives me plus 5,000 magic metal strength. She also has attack boost 12 max. Um... And paralysis, which is not gonna help me <laughs> for this uh, event. Um, and she has perfect traits of a pet slot. Um, yeah, she also gives me like 7,000 magic metal strength for Supernova. And I have uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie right here. She uh, gives me plus 10,000 magic metal strength. She also ignores enemies' attributes, so she'll always be super effective no matter what enemy you're going against, like whether it's speed uh, or magic, it'll always be super effective. Um, she had attack boost 13 max, gauge 0. Uh, she needs work on her traits. <laughs> um, she has aerial, extra attack, and ground. And gives me plus 12,000 12, magic metal strength for the supernova. And then I have a lingering will again. <laughs> He's the same one as before. <laughs> um, and he has. And my sub slot is 6.3. Uh, so about the same. Actually, did I even optimize it? Yeah, it did. Okay. And all these level, uh, all these keepers are level 35, so. Yeah, I'm trying to make I'm trying to make it as free to play friendly as possible until the last stage. <laughs> that, that's when I kind of went all out because the last stage is actually pretty difficult. Um, so yeah. Um, so as for the last stage, I had two setups. I have my sleeping lion right here. This setup kind of works. It, the only reason why I'm not gonna use it, like, like when I when I say kind of work, it, I can't beat it with this with this setup. It and the reason why I can't beat it is because. Ventus, as well as Ventus, <laughs> God dang it, Ventus. Um, they both don't have extra attack, which it hurts me a lot. Cause 
both of these are my main damage dealers so i can probably beat it with this setup it's just that if i had extra attack on those two like yeah like so far i would be able to beat it but unfortunately i don't so i can't beat it with the setup but if you guys have a speed setup or the, these type of speed metals um this would be a good setup um this setup will work um you guys can replace the tifa with some other uh reverse metals like right here is the reverse slot um i put tifa there because i don't really have any great reverse metals um but you guys have something like this like this vet uh Zemnis right here um give you gives you like plus eight thousand speed metal strength like this will work a lot better um but yeah sleeping line definitely the better keyblade um then um lady luck but uh yeah <laughs> you can beat the entire like i believe the entire event with just lady luck um for like the speed enemies anyway uh until the last enemy which is like a speed uh which is magic as well um which i tried using sleepy line but unfortunately it doesn't work <laughs> um so yeah if you guys have like said before have these type of metals you guys can run this type of setup for sleeping lion um so yeah and this is the setup i used to actually beat the event <laughs> um i kind of switched out the Kyrie with my nominee i used nominee originally but i should be able to beat it with Kyrie. you stupid so, yeah same Kyrie as before <laughs> i gotta show you guys the Kyrie. uh for the most part all these are the same i just kind of move them around so yeah these, all these metals are the same thing as before um so yeah um the reason why i'm running the king of 3 illustrated aqua here instead of you know over here oh, god dang it over here because um what this aqua does is makes the the next metal a magic metal if i put this aqua right over here she's gonna make this Kyrie a magic metal and it's gonna make it so she's not gonna have the super effective damage and that's kind of annoying so yeah i kind of uh, move her right here that way she'll make this aqua magic when she's already magic so it's not gonna do anything uh, unfortunately i lose out a little bit of damage because this is a 9.2 multiplier where the other one is 10 a uh, 10 multiplier but uh what can you do about it <laughs> i wish you could turn that off um Unfortunately, I can't, so I, I have to run her on that slot. Um, in terms of sub slots, I have 6.2. Uh, oh, no, 6.3 <laughs> uh, sub slot. Um, it is level 50, so I, I just beat the, the boss with this Keyblade, so I think you might actually need. <laughs> well, actually, you probably don't need a level 35 Keyblade. Maybe? I, I don't know. Cause like I said before, I just beat this event with this setup, so you might. <laughs> then again, I don't have any skills on Master Xehanort, so he, he is lacking some damage. So I don't know. Like I feel like you might need something close to level 50. And same with the sub slot, unless you have a high sub slot, like I said before. Um, then you don't really need a level 50 Keyblade. But I don't. My sub slots aren't really that high. Any, I, th I think nowadays. So yeah, I kind of uh, need everything, every ounce of power. I, I can get so yeah i'll show you guys like it, it's definitely like this event definitely tough um so can, this, this event is not a jewel event like it doesn't give you any jewel they were it, you know i got thing <laughs> they were like going all out with the uh bosses making it a little more difficult um so yeah if you guys noticed the big bonus challenge are usually really easy and that's because they're rewarding jewels whereas this event gives you absolutely nothing like the only worthwhile things like tickets and like um the the Sora Moogle medal which is used for the fantastic event where if you collect a, a good amount of them you actually get some free medals like free flan or flan medals so yeah um that's why this event is so much more difficult than the uh the jewel event but uh we'll start from stage one um I'm gonna run my try to show for this one because Larxene is a speed enemy. And then as for friend metals, I use this Riku. It's a King West 3 Riku. Um gives me plus ten thousand power metal strength. And then the skill is uh, attack boost door team max, gauge zero, and perfect choice to put except for pet slot. And as for my speeds, uh setups, I run this friend metal. This sword gives me plus 10,000 uh, speed metal strength. Uh, it goes around. <laughs> it knows damage attributes, so that's great. Uh, attack with 13 max gauge 2. 
and you know, perfect trace. Except for it's not. <laughs> oh my goodness! Like I really hope one day they work like rework the pet trading system because <laughs> oh my goodness! Like I feel like <laughs> we barely get any good traits in that. But uh, at least I don't anyway. <laughs> and again, maybe because I'm unlucky. But uh, this is my friend medal right here for my uh magic setup. So this Kyrie. Um, he's plus 10,000 metal, magic metal strength, and then ignores enemy attributes, attack plus 13 max, and perfect trace, except for pet slot. Yeah, except for pet slot. So, yeah, I think that's kind of about it. <laughs> I can finally jump into the vent now. Oh shoot, I, <laughs> I took the wrong key, I had the wrong spider metal, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's the first boss, it's, it's super easy. But yeah, there we go, that's, <laughs> that's large scene. Poor large scene, it did, it did a dirty man. <laughs> On the first stage. It really beat him one hit. Oh man. But uh, yeah. This event is very... It's, it's challenging. <laughs> Which is great, because uh... I like these uh... More challenging events. It's a lot more fun. <laughs> like this event is basically made for uh... Veteran players. Um... Uh, actually, not really, because I mean, even if... You're new, you could probably still beat this event. Because the, the banners now, like for the anniversary, is really good. So you can probably get a lot of good medals. The only thing you guys won't have is traits. <laughs> so that might, you know, hurt you right there. But, uh, yeah. Um, I bring a Lady Ox set up now. Like, each of these bosses have their own little. Me okay, not really. <laughs> they, the, some bosses have reflecting, some of them absorbs. Like, I think this, this one reflects. Yeah, this one reflects your magic, so that's why <laughs> I couldn't really run a magic setup throughout this entire event because of that reason. So I had to use different setups. Like if I could, <laughs> I would just use just use that a uh, counterpoint keyblade and just you know destroy this entire event. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, that, like this anniversary, <laughs> like or at least this event made me want to like pull more because. Now it's like my medals are sort of outdated now, so I had to get the newer medals, like the illustrated medals. Um, so yeah, and this this boss Demix, he um, absorbs your magic medals, so you can't use magic medals here either. <laughs> so yeah, I'm running the speed setup here for that, and I think I should be able to auto most of it. <laughs> um, Oh, for a second, I, I thought my character has some, some sort of like cheese <laughs> on his uh, shirt or something. I was like, what the heck? But I guess this is the the keychain on the keyblade. <laughs> oh my goodness! But uh, yeah, the, they're, they're like missing a couple stages. Like, there's only twelve uh, stages here. They're missing characters like Roxas and Shion. I'm curious if they're gonna add that in the later, you know, week or so. But uh, we'll, we'll see. I highly doubt it. But uh, it just sucks that there's no Roxas and Xion <laughs> in these organization events. Um, so yeah, we're gonna run the the magic setup now. But yeah, Axel, what does he do? Oh yeah, he absorbs uh, power metal. So yeah, you can't run through this with power setup. Like, oh my god, <laughs> can't even talk. You can't run through this with a power setup either. So yeah, it is annoying that you have to keep switching keyblades, but uh. It keeps them more for refreshing, I guess, instead of just destroying the entire event with just one setup. So you actually have to plan out. So this is what I kind of missed in Kenora Junior Cross. Something like this where the events are a little more difficult. I just wish that they make the events more difficult while also adding jewels instead of making it difficult for like events nobody cares about. Or at least like not nobody cares about but like the rewards are trash. So. Yeah, I wish big bonus challenges was something like this. Where the boss is like super hard. But uh it makes sense why it's so easy because they want everybody to get jewels and if <laughs> they make it too hard, newer players won't be able to beat the event that'll discourage them from playing the game. So it makes sense. But yeah, I'm I'm just waiting for more uh story updates. <laughs> like Man, the story in Unicross is really good right now. It, 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 right now, it's in the climax, so things are getting interesting. Okay, so this Psyax reflects your power medals and also counters. 
probably like around half health. So, I guess it doesn't really matter to me, because <laughs> I don't want to beat this anyway. But, uh, most of you guys probably need help with the last stage, uh, Zemnis. Maybe, like, stage 11 or something. But, uh, these are kind of easy, like, you guys don't really need, like, you guys don't really need that great of a setup to beat, like, these lower level, um, you know, bosses. Okay, next up, we're gonna bring the speed setup. This one, and we'll take in this Sora. Alright, let's see what Zexion does. Okay, he absorbs magic metals. And a lot of these bosses, they also start with defense up, so... Yeah, having the Kyrie or Namne to debuff your enemy is definitely gonna be very clutch, so... Yeah. <laughs> definitely, you're gonna need a buffer. And having a second chance would be really good as well. I feel like you could probably tank Xemnas. Like, I tried tanking Xemnas before, but, uh... It didn't really work out that well. I think it's cause, uh... What you call it? I uh, I didn't do enough damage, even if I did tank. Like, I didn't try with the uh, the Ventus and the Ventus. <laughs> um, like when I tried tanking him, I didn't summon on the uh, Illustrated Aqua Banner yet, so I didn't get the Ventus. So maybe I might be able to beat it with the tanking setup, but I don't know. I feel like even with the tanking setup, I'm not gonna do enough damage because the both of the Ventuses they don't have extra attack so I don't think that side will, will work for me but if you guys have extra attack on the Ventuses um as well as really, other really good strong speed metals you guys might be able to tank the event um but I, I, I can't unfortunately but uh yeah some of the good, really good tanking metals is the um like at least the ones I use let's see we're gonna run this fast. so the ones I use is the Yuffie to lower the enemy's attack and PSM attack. Okay, so Lexius he attacks you first turn, <laughs> and it's the same thing as uh, the organization event previously. They haven't changed the bosses at all. Um, he also reflects your power metal strength. Oh, power strength. <laughs> he also reflects your power metal uh, attacks, and he probably had a, a counter somewhere in between, probably like fifty percent or something. So yeah. <laughs> Lexius was always the most annoying one for me <laughs> when it comes to uh, the organization event. I'm not sure if I can beat this actually. Maybe I should uh, put on this auto. I'll put on the auto of Supernovas. Yeah, just in case if I can't beat it. Like, <laughs> that'd be kind of embarrassing if I just died. <laughs> no! You stupid! <laughs> no! Why would you do that? <laughs> oh my god. Just when I said it. <laughs> just when I said it, it would be embarrassing to die. Okay, let me, let me actually play this event. <laughs> oh my god. I used the Lingering Will Supernova and I died. <laughs> that, that's so stupid. Actually, I, I can probably auto it. Like, I'll probably still auto it. I don't know. I'll, I'll actually play this. <laughs> I'll, I'll play it. Oh my god. Uh, it, it honestly doesn't really matter. Like, I don't have to go too crazy over this. It's not gonna be that difficult. Oh shoot! Oh, oh, oh. stupid! <laughs> let, me, let me turn that off before it kills me again. <laughs> and it killed me. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> don't tell me I gotta do this again. Please tell me I have enough strength to beat- Actually, you know what? I should use the, use the Supernovas. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this video's a fail. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, shoot, I gotta, I gotta watch out for the uh, stupid counters. There we go, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. So basically, you gotta, you gotta watch out for... <laughs> The uh, the auto supernovas, <laughs> um, but yeah, Luxius he reflected your power metals, and he attacks you first turn. I didn't see he had a actually no he did have a counter. He killed me. No 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 he, he didn't have a counter. No I lowered his counter down. He didn't have a uh, what you call it revenge value. It is what they call it. So um, 
could use this setup. Okay, so. Be Zexen. I have Zexen. <laughs> Vexen is not really that hard. At least I don't think so. Anyway, before he kills me too. Um, yeah, okay, so Vexen, he reflects pa uh, reflects uh, magic metals. And he has high defense. So I'm gonna put on this auto. <laughs> on the supernova again. I, I think it should be fine. I don't have any uh, magic metals in here. So <laughs> it should be fine. But uh, yeah, I think there's like two more stages left. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go. Like, for the most part, I can't wait you can cross because it's auto it. <laughs> All you gotta do is create a setup and you can, the game will play itself. I just wish the game knew how, when to use the supernovas. Like, when's the best time to use supernovas? Because they, they use most of the supernovas in the beginning and so, um, some of them at the end as well. Like, it seems pretty. I guess it seems pretty smart. Like, it is using at the end, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they changed that and made it a little bit better. But okay, that's 9 out of 12. Uh, yeah, there's about like 3 more stages left. Alright, let's go. It's all in, it's all in, it's all in. Um. Okay, I, I, I do have, uh, it, oh, yeah, it absorbs speed metal attack. It should be fine. <laughs> I think it should auto and still be fine. I, I, I was like, I have the Luxord there. Um, he, what you call it? He has a speed metal, but that's fine. Like, it's, I think it's gonna use it. It's gonna use it at the end, I think. But I think it should be fine, because I should be able to beat this. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it it, it it basically healed them by like a 1.4 million. So yeah, it, it's not too bad. Like yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that much HP. I thought it'd be a little more. But you guys would probably run this set a lot better if you guys have the Riku and the um or the Terra. I think Terra's power, right? So. Yeah, I, I ran the uh, Sephiroth and the Cloud because I don't have those two. But if you guys have the Riku and Terra, you guys can replace the um, you know, Sephiroth and uh, Cloud with those two. And honestly, running the Fenrir Keyblade is a lot better. So yeah, um, what you call it? Zaldin, he absorbs HP and he also um, counters. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't really matter because I, I destroyed this man. <laughs> Um, but you guys need help, definitely let me know, like, I am, I'm like, I'm, I'm breezing through these stages, like, I, I, I find these stages really easy, so I'm really, really going into much of detail with it, because it, it is pretty easy, at least for me anyway, but if you guys need help, definitely let me know, like, it, obviously it's not easy for everyone, like, this Alden right here, he, it, it basically tell you what he does, like, right here, he resets your boost, lowers your strength of all attributes, counters when HP drops to 30%, as well as speed metals, upright metals are really that effective. I can tell you everything here. So, yeah. Um, but if you guys need anything, definitely let me know. Like, I'm mostly waiting until the last stage. <laughs> I might actually play this Zigbar one though. So, Zigbar, he reflects your speed metals. He also uh, attacks you at slot 4. So, when it comes to these type of enemies, you really don't want to have an extra attack metal on slot 4 because he will attack you twice. But I think I should be fine. Uh, I have a decent amount of HP so I think I should be able to survive it but we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, so when he's the Kyrie to give it his buffs, he starts off with 15 um, upright defense and reverse defense up. So I'm going to use Kyrie to get rid of that. Then I'm going to use... Oh, you reflex so, uh, speed metal. Okay, so... I'm gonna use the lingering wheel to get my guild bonus up, and I'm gonna auto it <laughs> um, until the next turn. So he has like 3.4 million HP, so that's a lot, I think. I'm not sure how many how much HP does the um, the foretellers have. Oh shoot, I, I died. <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm not sure what heck killed me. 
That shouldn't. Oh, oh, you counter me. That's why. I think he has counters as well. So. Oh shoot, what happened to all the supernovas? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I have the uh, supernova auto thing yawn. Oh my god. <laughs> I always fail to turn it off when I'm not actually playing. Because it just used all my supernovas. I'm like, what happened? But, uh, yeah, he also counters you as well. So, yeah, he probably counter me. Actually, mm, I'm not sure if he countered me by HP threshold or just by slot 4. But, uh, first thing first, we're turning this one off. I'm gonna do the same thing again with the Kyrie. And then we're gonna run. Uh, we're using a will. And hopefully, I don't die this time. <laughs> um. Unless it's my counter, or that case, then I'm gonna die regardless. Okay, I can actually start paying attention to this because I actually be, yeah, counter attack right there in slot 4. So, I only have one extra. Like, my uh, metal slot 4 didn't have extra attack, so he only attacked me once. Uh, but usually he will uh, attack you twice if you, have, if you have the extra attack. Okay. Like the animation is so cool. I, lo I love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the. Cl I'm gonna use. I'm start using a lot of these. Actually, I'm, mm, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use. Well, no. First, I'm gonna use the Kyrie first to heal myself up. And debuff him. Then I'm gonna use the cloud, the Sephiroth, and the Riku. I'm going to Terra. Um, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna use the cloud, and I'm gonna use Sephiroth. The reason why I'm using all, all like cloud and Sephiroth now is because. The buff lasts for two turns, so it'll be for this turn and the last turn, uh, turn three. Um, that way, I have the six thousand strength, you know, for those two turns. At the end, I'm gonna have the most strength possible, and I'm saving this one for next turn because that's only uh, one turn supernova. So the the paramount strength there for the supernova only lasts for one turn, so I'll use it at the end. Um, Luxor, so I'm not using Lingling Will. I'm gonna use next turn as well because it only lasts one turn. Kyrie, well, I'm probably gonna use. I'm not gonna use Kyrie. <laughs> so hopefully, I should be. Hopefully, I can beat this. I tested that before. I, I, I think I beat it. So I'm praying. <laughs> right now, I'm at ninety-two thousand strength. That's crazy. Ninety-eight thousand, one hundred eight thousand. Wow. Oh yeah, I beat this. <laughs> All right, there we go. Do one of this, do this. Uh, do Link with Will. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll. That's kind of about it. <laughs> so yeah, the setup was kind of easy. Like you most likely just need to bring like a, a supernova of a new metal. That's gonna. That's how you feel like that necessary. You need a supernova of a new metal. You definitely need the illustrated metals for sure, and you also need good traits. Like ground, air, extra attack, strength. You know, the, the, the usual. <laughs> Alright, if, if it ever loads, <laughs> we'll get to the next part. Um, but yeah, this is when things are going to get difficult. Like, this Seminus is level 6,000, so that's pretty high of a level. Usually, it's around 5,000, but at this time, 6,000. Um, he has a lot more higher defense and all that good stuff or bad stuff <laughs> so yeah he overrides your strength para paralyzes you counters when you counter hit to zero and attacks aren't very effective okay <laughs> i think attack saying attacks are, are very effective is like if uh well he, he doesn't really do that much damage for his attacks like his attacks does very little damage it's just that he attacks you a lot of times which adds up and kills you but uh yeah but i think saying attacks aren't very effective if you just swipe I have no idea. <laughs> um, we have counterpoint set up, and we're running the uh, this uh, fire metal, and let's go. A few moments later. Actually, <laughs> I'm not sure. Can I can I read this? I actually, holy snap! He had, he had a lot. Oh my god! 
Did I lose? You stupid. Oh my goodness. I lost. I wonder what what happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had, I had the feeling like I was like, oh, we're good. We beat this. And I'm like, hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> what just happened? Um. Oh my god, this video is long. Okay, so I gotta, you know, speed right through this. That's that's interesting. <laughs> that was super interesting. I, I did not know what happened. <laughs> oh my god, how do you have so much health? How did I beat this event? <laughs> I honestly might might have been luck to be honest with you. But uh, I'm gonna try running it one more time. This time, yeah, I bought I bought the exact setup I used. I, I, I think I know why. <laughs> I think I know why. Okay, so yeah, I might I might honestly just cut out that one part. So you guys probably not gonna see me fail. <laughs> So, this is save time, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring in the nominate this time. The reason why is because the the uh, what's it called the Xehanort, There wasn't any uh, what we call it reverse debuffs, so I'm assuming that's why. So I want to bring in the nominate this time because I guess I can't beat it with the Kyrie. So yeah, this this for this boss event is really difficult. Um, so we'll try one more time. So we're gonna. You nominate, get rid of all his buffs. Um, so yeah, nominate basically essentially overwrites it because nominate basically lowers the enemy's uh, debuffs by 15. Uh, we're gonna do the lingering will, and then we're gonna jump into this. Yeah, I'm making sure I beat this time. <laughs> like, I'm like focusing now because I actually have to pay attention. I also need, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, the count, oh, the count attack, the, um, combo something 2, combo boost 2 or something, to activate in the right time. Um, okay, we're gonna use the nominee. Then we use the nominee for that. Okay. So, this run should be a little better. Okay, it's combo two. <laughs> I'll, I'll sort of right. <laughs> For the most part, I, I kind of want the combo two to work on the Kyrie, but uh, unfortunately, I can't really have that happen too often. Like it's basically RNG. Okay, so now we use. Use in or use this. Like I'm, I think focus, focus. <laughs> oh shoot! I, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Whatever. Just can't. Hopefully I can beat this. Like <laughs> I'm, like I'm, I'm like nervous now. Like I gotta make sure I can beat. Cause I beat it originally. It's like you guys see, I, I beat it. It's like I just gotta like analyze, like make sure. <laughs> I think it was denominate. Of the issue. Yeah, it was it was nominee. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we beat it. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, that, that was a fail. <laughs> I might keep that in the video because I feel like it's gonna be funny. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's kind of about it. Um. Yeah, it, it, it was a nominee issue because the uh, they know didn't have the uh, reverse. Uh, what you call it? Reverse debuffs. Like, he didn't do enough damage because of that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so now when he's, it's just sort of necessary for this one. <laughs> I didn't really want to use it. I thought I could beat it with Kyrie, but unfortunately I was not able to, so. Yeah, the video is long, long, so I'm gonna end the video ASAP. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions on this event, definitely let me know. Leave a comment down below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you guys want to bring a Supernova Renewal Medal. That'll help you a lot. Metals that increase your metal strength for your respective attribute will help you a lot. A buffer, help you a lot. Uh, nominee, <laughs> it's probably key. Um, let's see, uh, good friend metal for sure. <laughs> Always good friend metal, and also have a decent amount of traits like good traits for on your metals like the uh, gr ground. Necessary. If all enemies here are ground, so you definitely need ground. Extra attack will help you a lot as well. Um, 
you know, that's kind of about it. Like, definitely go for the newer medals. <laughs> like, for, if you want to beat this event, because the uh, illustrated medals are definitely gonna help you a lot. Um, I mean, you probably can't beat it without those medals, but it'll make your life a lot easier if you have the illustrated medals. Um, honestly, I could probably run a better setup, but uh, <laughs> I, I just gotta think about it. Um, so yeah, if you guys definitely need any help, let, let me know. Um, but yeah, this event doesn't give you any jewels, so you're not missing out on anything. Like, if you guys can't beat Seminus, it's fine. Like, you're missing a title. What, there's like, a couple tickets, and I think that's it. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think it gives you the Sora and Mugo medal, so... It, honestly, you're not, you're not missing much, you can't beat this, so... This is basically for those who are who played this game for a while, so... Yeah, honestly, I, I wasn't even debating. Like, I wasn't even planning on making a video on this, because... Like I said before, it gives you absolutely nothing, so it's not really worth it. But I was like, you know what, why not? I'll just make a video on it for fun. But, uh, it's kind of better. My phone about to die, so. <laughs> yeah, the more came around Junior Cross videos, be sure to like the subscribe button. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.